I was just outside cleaning up my herb garden. I had to run inside and get the camera. <laughs> I was saying farewell to these beautiful zinnias, cutting them down in my herb garden, snipping away, snipping away, saw a flower here, I thought a branch was coming over and no, look at this, I'm like, oh my god, this is a flowering sage, and then I ran in the house, got the camera, and then I came back out and realized, no, it's not. It is what I originally thought. <laughs> A little baby zinnia blooming. So I have to laugh at myself because I can be so dopey sometimes. <laughs> As much as I understand that the earth needs more trees, I have to pluck these out of my bed. When I'm older, maybe I'll let them all grow, but I get thousands of them. And I do let some grow. In the corner over there, as you can see, those are weed trees, so they're the maples. I trim them to keep them low so the sun rise can dry the dew off my garden here. My wattle fence. <laughs> my little baby wattle fence. And nasturtiums. Still blooming. And I forgot. I got buried by the lemon balm. Too. I just went in the house to get a little jar of water. I'm going to be picking some of this African blue basil. Wikipedia says that this um, African blue basil is actually just ornamental, but I did read another article where they said that the leaves actually make really great tasting pesto, and the smell is amazing. I haven't tried it. I did just let this go all summer long because it was just so showy, and the bees of all kinds we're really just all over it every day. I'm surprised they're not here right now because it is getting a little warm out, but we did have a frost this morning. But um, apparently the flowers are even edible. They say that there is a high content of camphor in the African blue basil, but uh, not enough to make it non-culinary so they say if you want to use the leaves for basil to cut off the flowers to let new leaves grow and use the new leaves for the basil for the uh, pesto and it's a perennial probably not in my area but it can handle a couple of light frosts they say and it survives and also it doesn't go to seed but it can propagate through cuttings so from my cuttings I took today put in the jars of water uh, maybe they'll root maybe I can keep them over winter and then plant them again in the spring I'll let you know how that goes There we go. You can 
fearful. I'm going to put it on that white table up there. But look who I'm going to be disturbing. He's heads up. He knows I'm coming. <laughs> These geraniums still blooming. This is just part sun, mostly shade. I got some flowers for you. <laughs> you don't want to see the flowers? <laughs> See how pretty? 